A Fox News alert now. Hong Kong police say overnight pro-democracy protester was shot in the chest by an officer during violent clashes. This coming after the country quietly moved thousands of troops into Hong Kong late last month, more than doubling their military presence in the city. And these uh, courageous protesters have not stopped. The author of Stealth War, retired U.S. Air Force Brigadier General Robert Spaulding, joins us now. This does not surprise you. Uh, that they're cracking down, does, is it, General? Not at all. You know, the Chinese Communist Party wants to take control of Hong Kong. They promised that by 2047. Of course, they've done it, you know, incrementally since 1997. The Chinese, uh, the oh Hong gosh, Kong people have this. finally figured it out. How do we stop China's aggression here, and what does this mean for America? Everywhere. Well, I think one of the things that we can do is stop sending our retirement funds over to build their weapons, to help them oppress their people, to include forced organ harvesting of uh, prisoners of conscience, to dominate the Eurasian landmass with their Belt and Road Initiative, and to really oppress freedoms, suppress freedoms everywhere. General, I thought I was reading Donald Trump's book, and this is it. He thinks China is a threat. Joe Biden doesn't. Mitch McConnell doesn't. And he believes that you know, little by little they're taking over our freedoms, and that is their goal, by luring us with money and cheap goods. That's the premise of this book. That's exactly right. You know, I talk about the guy, a, a gentleman named Roy Jones. He worked for the Marriott Corporation, and he was fired by Marriott because the Chinese Communist Party told him because he, he liked a tweet about Tibet. So here is an American corporation on American soil firing an employee at the behest of the Chinese Communist Party. You face this throughout our country. How dangerous is this, their aggression and their totalitarian government? Well, it's, it's funny because when we think about danger today, we think about planes and ships and tanks and bombs, and really what they're trying to do is use information and money to essentially get what they want. And they do it everywhere, and they're absolutely they just take perfect. Over, don't they? Right. Absolutely. General, if they get the richest, most successful people in the country with the most influence on their side, like Ray Dalio of Blackstone, little by little, they say, well, China's not a threat. Joe Biden says China's not a threat. You're a voice in the wilderness that says they are. Well, not only that, last week Michael Bloomberg said Xi Jinping's not a dictator. If he's not a dictator, I don't know who is. And we've been drunk by, by, uh, by money. We've so been paid off. We've been paid off. I was in a cab the other day with a man that was originally from Tibet, has to live here in America because they just came in, wiped, started killing people, took people away, and he moved here. He got out. People aren't aware of the things that are going on in China. I talk to people about, do, do you know what an ECMO machine is, an, a machine to keep a body alive while wow. you take out organs? What? It's terrible. The book is called Stealth War. It's there, how China took over while America's elite slept. Uh, General Spaulding, congratulations. I'll talk to you more on radio. Thank, Thank you, you for your service.